Step one, wake up early, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Hey, hey, everyone. I hope you guys all enjoyed that little, the new intro I added in. Um, I hope everyone has had a wonderful Wednesday. I know on Monday I was supposed to upload, but once you get into all of these softwares, it's like you really got to dig deep down and, you know, try to um, figure it all out before you can post anything else. And then by the time you're done figuring out, you're so tired. You just want to take a nap. It's definitely crazy. So I think that everyone's children has already started school except for maybe the East Coasters. I know I still have my little guy um, until the 28th, I believe. Um, but wow, has it been a crazy summer for sure. Very hot. Very, very hot. Um, I went school shopping for my son and... <sighs> the prices are just as bad <laughs> are just as high as the temperatures for sure um, so today we are going to be working on I have a couple of um, I have a couple of things I want to talk about first and foremost I wanted to talk about the topic of boundaries now boundaries are actually fairly new honestly to, to in, in the in the journey of finding myself, I feel like boundaries, learning to set boundaries are fairly new to me. I mean, you can, it, I mean, I'm 30, I'm going to be 34 and boundaries being set are new to me, which is so odd, but um, it's something that you got to learn. You need to set clear boundaries uh, for yourself, like when you're available for other people or what can and cannot be said um, for, you know, to respect each other's, um, um, you know, personal growth and, and personal space. We want to all have a, a healthy set of boundaries. And that just shows that you respect somebody else as well because you're setting healthy boundaries for yourself. And it, you won't have any confusion thereafter. Um, so while learning about boundaries through lifelong lessons, I really didn't understand how amazing it feels when you respect others by respecting yourself, for sure. Because um, you have to think to yourself, you can only control what you do, not to others. So you can only control what you do to yourself. Um, you can't control what everybody else does. And here we are all on a social platform. And being behind a screen makes you a little bit more just not yourself and actually the way that you perceive yourself in person as opposed to a platform. Anybody can say anything, you know, and it's just it sucks entirely. But to keep yourself guarded from that is when you have set boundaries that you follow to a T so that if something does pop up like that, it's like, wait, 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 wait you know, but, um, so being clear to people, it actually, it just, it, it makes them feel like you care because you're making it clear as to what can be said, what can be done and what you're available for, for them. So for example, I started respecting my boundaries and stuff and telling people because I'm a nursing student. So nursing goes, nursing is very, nursing is very demanding, incredibly demanding to the point where all I have is studying and doing the bare minimum and making sure the laundry and the dishes and all of that is done. And then I go right back to studying anything else outside. It's like, like my son, he, he's so, what is that called? He is so, um, he's so mature for his age. He's easy to, 
to direct to do things that he needs to do. And then, of course, there's my husband. He works all the time. But um, for me to get this degree and to um, to succeed on this degree, I have to set clear boundaries for people. During my time where I'm in school, I literally don't go out. I don't go and do things, nothing. It is just um, strapped down into school which is okay, you know, as long as you make yourself clear and you don't surpass, like you don't go and do something special and then they think that your boundary is down, that you can go and do a bunch of things after that. You can't. So you have to respect your own boundaries too and never let them get crossed. For the most part, I always was like, why, why do men like me? Of course, you know, attraction comes into hand, but why would men like me so much? You know, what the heck is their problem? You know, I'm not dressing up, you know, provocatively or any of that type of situation. But they still manage to bother me all the time. Um, and one thing I learned about was you need to set boundaries. Because in a sense, when it comes to a man and a woman, men, men their, their, their instinct is to get you to knock down your boundaries that's how you start a family that's how you meet somebody that's how you marry somebody uh the first date they they're trying to check to see what kind of boundaries you set so all these men that gave me attention and stuff it wasn't because um attraction it was because i had almost zero boundaries i had no boundaries and it was so easy to talk to someone with no boundaries but it's also very dangerous too at the same time and then you start, and then you start um, putting people's boundaries down so that you can cross lines. And it's like that's not a good way to live. That's not. If you're good at breaking boundaries down, just know. It, I'm glad you're good at it. Just don't do it. It's just I remember I used to be so easy to break down boundaries, and in the end, it's just not. It's not healthy relationship. It really isn't. It's not a healthy relationship for yourself, and there's not a healthy relationship for, um, for the people around you. So, that is my take on boundaries, because um, I think that that's the best way to bring it up and talk about it and stuff. And um, it's a learning process for sure. Uh, it's no fun when boundaries are broken. Um, definitely was on that side of the of the things as well. But yeah, so I hope that everyone is doing amazing today. It is Wednesday. I hope you got your glass of water in this morning. You always got to wake up with that glass of water. It like it you know oils up your your tendons and your muscles and everything get that glass of water in um so i hope everyone liked my <laughs> my intro i'm still figuring out how to do an outro <laughs> but the more and more i'm on here the better it's gonna be so I, i'm not too clear about the schedule that i want i really do want a monday wednesday friday schedule where I talk for maybe about 25, 30 minutes for a podcast for now, um, especially because school is coming back up. And usually when school is back up, if I have no time to do any of it, it's not going to happen because school is my number one thing. I want to be a nurse. I'm already two years into this uh, degree and I have two more left to get my bachelor's and that's going to be that. That's my number one focus. My podcast is just to have fun, have conversations with people and reach an audience that maybe need, they need help, you know? So I'm not quite sure. So I'm going to try to shoot for Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays. Um, and yeah, it'll be just great like that. So um, if you guys have any feedback, just give me whatever feedback you can give me because you are the people that want to hear from me. So whatever you guys feel like you want to talk about or, um, 
anything that I didn't go over about boundaries, um, just write, uh, listen or write down in the comment section and let me know what, what kind of podcast you guys want to listen to, whether it be motivational or anything, anything. I don't mind talking about anything. So, so this is going to be a short one because there's really not much, um, to preach about with boundaries, but it's definitely going to be a short one. And, um, I hope you guys have a wonderful hump day. Today is Wednesday. (laughs) Um, and I'll see you guys on Friday. I'm shooting for another video for Friday. And let me know in the comments uh, what kind of video you want me to do for Friday. Uh, I'll greatly appreciate it. Thanks, guys. See you later.